Impact Wrestling has terminated its partnership with Jeff Jarrett and Global Force. This is BQ, and I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? Well, it's finally, finally happened. The termination is complete. I think this is something we all saw coming. We saw the championship titles change. We've seen the name Global Force taken out of just about everything. Even the intro to the show, my brother caught this last week. I didn't catch it. But the intro to the show previously had still kind of been using some Global Force references and all that. And now those guys are gone. So it is. it has happened. This is BQ. Please subscribe to the channel if you're an Impact Wrestling fan. For my loyal subscribers, I know I haven't been in the, on the channel as much as I should be lately. Super busy. It's just not possible. But this is something... I really wanted to speak about because again, this is something I think we saw coming. I did a video about a month ago where I talked about, you know, I was in support of them keeping Jeff Jarrett when this leave of absence was all done. I felt at that point it wasn't good to rebrand. You already had the titles, which it did a pretty good job adding the plates of the titles with the impact name. But I really felt um, to lose the global force name at that point was really not a smart thing. Um, you know, and I've said that the crappy thing about 2017, this was supposed to be a year of change and it's been a year of change. It's been a, a change every single set of tapings. It's always something different, 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 different. So we had one set of, uh, global force wrestling tapings with the green ropes and everything. And it looks like we're going right back to impact. Jeff Jarrett, of course, takes a parting shot saying, well, Anthem is out of money, which I personally don't believe. Anthem is a pretty successful company, and you, um, of course they were in the red upon acquiring Impact, but you can't imagine that a, uh, in six months, you know, the company is now upside down and bankrupt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, I don't really believe that. But here's something I got for you guys. Jeff Jarrett says, well, Anthem is out of money. You remember when Jeff Jarrett was placed on his leave of absence originally? And that Sports Illustrated article came out about Anthem being out of money and they're hemorrhaging funds and blah, 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 blah. Coincidence? Or was Jeff Jarrett the one who leaked that? I don't personally believe Jeff. That doesn't mean I think, uh, you know, the company is thriving and swimming in cash. I don't think that at all. But I think there is some uh, bitterness. And it sounds like, you know, the uh, alcohol... Played it played a role in this because um, he had a Jeff Jarrett wrestled a match the other night where he was uh, I guess it was in the main event as a 25 minute match and people were leaving because his performance was so bad and um, if you saw the video uh, if you listen to what I did covering the uh, tried and true show um, the other day on the channel a couple weeks ago you know they they did an event uh, zero hour that featured a lot of impact talent. And there was a match on there that was Jeff Jarrett versus the Pope. And uh, as much as I love that whole eye pay-per-view, that match I did not enjoy even a little bit. And, um, I mean, it took forever for the match to start. But Jeff Jarrett just, he's not, I, I don't know how old he is, but he's not very crisp in the ring anymore. I mean, he's got a straight dad bod. Like, he's not in any position to be wrestling, in my opinion. But, uh, I mean, guys like the ha Haku and the Barbarians still wrestle, you know. But, um, so this is really interesting. We're, we know that it's going to be Impact going forward, which I'm happy with because I'm comfortable with that. I think most of you are. But I also bought into the GFW thing. I was ready to go full forward with, okay, this is Global Force. There, it was always difficult to say, but I was ready to buy in. Now, here's something I want to I wanna talk to you guys about. And I want to know your guys' opinion on this. What's going to happen to Reno Scum, Congo Kong, um, guys that he brought in, that he brought in from the Global Force side? Are they going to stick around? Are they going to terminate these guys? Now, I saw a guy on Facebook the other day claim that he had some inside information that uh, Reno Scum, Kong, Alicia, MJ, um, DJZ, Bram, Rockstar Spud, that these guys were all going to be gone. Now, I think it's safe to say a few of those uh, are out of here. Um, I asked Gail Kim on the conference call about the knockouts, and, you know, she had said with MJ they're just 
trying to re-debut her. Um, she, she did not make me feel that those two, Alicia and MJ, were on the chopping block by any means with her answer. But with all that being said, guys like Kong, I think he still has a place. Uh, Reno Scum absolutely does. You know, I don't know the future with DJZ. He said he was booked after Bound for Glory. So that's what's real curious to me is the people that Jeff brought in, the wrestlers. Because remember, Jeff brought behind the scenes guys in too, and they're still sticking around. So I would hope that they're not just uh, going to cut all the wrestlers that he brought ab brought uh, brought aboard as well. Um, I'd be very disappointed if Reno Scum was gone. And, um, you know, I know they're going to bring some new people in. But as I've said about a hundred times now in my last couple of videos, who who cares? Because they can leave whenever they want, apparently. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. I'm sorry that this uh, upload came about 24 hours after the announcement. But that's just kind of my life these days. So um, I want to know what you guys think in the comments about the whole Jeff Jarrett situation. If you're, uh, you're good with it. If you wish they would have figured it out. I kind of wish they would have figured it out. But at the same time, I'm good with them moving forward like this. And we'll see how this uh, creative team does in the next uh, set of taping. So please hit subscribe here if you're an Impact Wrestling fan. Trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by Bound for Glory. And uh, we'll be reviewing, previewing I should say, Bound for Glory here very soon on the channel. So thanks for swinging by guys. Peace.